portion of a door glass adjustment. As you can tell, my dog Boone has helped me do this again today. He's really excited about this video. Uh, the other day I did a video showing how, or explaining what's wrong with my window regulator. Saying if you make noise, replace it. Because this pulley broke, my cable came off. All right, I got the new one in. I didn't test drive it then. Nowhere to go. And yesterday, Jennifer and I had to go somewhere, jump in the car. We're good getting out of the area, get on the highway, get above 45 miles an hour, and tremendous wind noise. Coming from over here. Jennifer looked in the mirror from her side and said, my window's coming off. It was actually punched out some. I could reach over and push just a little bit and the window, it, I could push the window out. Just touch it. When I put it together, I thought I'd done anything right. I marked the spots where the old regulators were for adjustment stuff, and I marked the window, marked the glass. Everything seemed okay. Well, went back and read the book when we got home last night, and there's five adjustments for these windows. Uh, remember from my other video, this is on the inside of the door. These two rails, got the stud on the bottom that goes in the bottom of the door, stud on top, which goes in the top of the door toward the inside. This is where the motor hooks in. The glass sits inside these things with these screws. What the book says to do, oh, I get that flipped around, is within the door like this, you push the glass in, push it all the way forward, and push it down and tighten the, tighten the front one. Tighten it up. Clamp that down. Then you come back to the back, pick the window up four millimeters, and tighten this one down. Now, I grew up in the fractional world, not the metric world. So, you know, there's 25, what, 25.1 millimeters an inch or something like that. There's around 25 millimeters per inch. So a fifth of an inch up. I moved up just a little bit, tightened it down. Uh, that's what I did. Well, how do you adjust in or out? Using the manual, what it says to do is open the door because the window goes down, take a screwdriver or a ratchet or something, windows back up again. And don't close the door. Just put it up here next to the you look at it, see if it's level. I am pretty darn well. I'm making sure I close it. When I close it, this is exactly parallel. So I'm okay on level. I'm okay on height. It's supposed to go four millimeters above, it's supposed to be at the bottom part, four millimeters above the bottom of the rip, the trim there. I'm well into that. Okay, so I don't need to adjust the height. If I did need to adjust the height, these screws right here. This is the screw that holds the glass in. There's this adjusting screw. Some people call it a jack screw. What it does is, well, first off, on the bottom of the door, there's four little rectangles. Two back here, two up there. They got rubber plugs in them. You pull the plug out. The ones on the inside of the door, toward the middle, there are these bolts here, these nuts here. The one on the outside or to get access to that. You have to put the window all the way down. So this will be down here. And you stick a E6. It's an inverse Torx. And you adjust the height of the window. Uh, apparently you can adjust it about 15 millimeters. Total adjustment. Again, mine looks okay. Uh, the test for... If you have... It tight enough against the door you stick a piece of paper in here it says put a piece of paper between the B pillar and the glass and if you got the A pillar B pillar C pillar and the paper should be held in it, it's kind of held in but the way you adjust that is the start on the bottom as a nut, use a 10 millimeter 
ratchet on, you loosen it, you move it out, move it out this way, glass goes in. Move it in, glass goes out. So I'm gonna adjust that down there. Make sure the video can see something down there. Open the door back up. Crawl on down here. The plug is really easy to pull off. Loosen the 10 millimeter nut or the nut up with a 10 millimeter wrench. If you watch the glass, see how I'm moving it? Yeah, it moves a lot. I now have it all the way in. Reinstall the plug. Make sure that plug's around. I didn't mess that up the other day. Reinstall the plug. Paper. Pretty tight. I can still pull on it, but it's a hard pull. So, yeah. Force of door adjustment. This works on the, what, 996, 986, 997, 987s. I don't know about the 981s. Uh, 991s and 992s and 982s. But this works on the up till Caymans and Boxers up to 12. Anyway, hope that helped you. Oh, you couldn't see me doing the paper. Yeah, it was a little bit hard to pull out. Anyway, hope that helped.